So, I know some of you people that wanted to be parents wanted to think, oh, you know, by having two kids could force one to be free babysitter. To have to watch the other one. Understand something. Trying to guilt and coerce somebody into doing that? Yeah, that's a fucking mistake. Understand. That, that, uh... That mistake could be the difference between your beautiful family getaway and the first 48. If you try to guilt your kid, especially a kid that you abused as they were growing up and want to try to guilt them and coerce them that apparently they owe you for a task that they never asked you to do. They never asked you to brought them into this world. All right. You assumed that they would be grateful of you uh, bringing them into this world. But the reality is, yeah, that saying, every kid deserves a parent, not every parent deserves a kid. Very true. So um, if you ended up going ahead and trying to whatever means and length necessary to try to uh, rustle yourself up a babysitter that you wouldn't have to pay for because, hey, family vacation. Oh, you, you want to break tradition by not coming on the vacation? I'm not going to go on vacation to be free fucking labor. Go fuck yourself. All right? At that point, understand, if you do what you can to try to push your kids onto that kid that wants to be a kid, yeah, if they end up beating the fuck out of that younger kid and abusing them to the point where CPS could end up getting called and they call CPS on you and claim that you're a fucking child beater, you put them in the position to let it happen. You said fuck their personal autonomy, fuck their decision-making capability. They're going to do this because I feel that their existence needs to be constantly validated with their free fucking effort to try to meet my expectations, no matter how unrealistic they are, to go pay this unspoken debt. What, so you're supposed to have a forever debt of gratitude to a person that brought you onto a planet and uh, results may vary? Because it's like, hey... With the life that I fucking had, don't get me wrong, I've had some amazing shit happen. And when I say amazing, I mean mind-blowing. But I have also had so much abusive and negative shit that didn't need to be brought into my life. How did it end up coming into my life? Somehow magically tagged along with Anybody that my mom tried injecting into my personal life never ends up good. So, uh, yeah, no, my point is, if you think I'm the parent, they're the child, I'm smarter than them, there's no way that me forcing them to do this could go wrong, and that I won't end up potentially on the fucking news, yeah, Understand, there there's definitely ways to end up on the news. There's always ways, you know, of that happening. Like, for example, if your child decides that they want to get cynical and they start screaming, I need an adult, I need an adult. Like, and keep in mind, the fucked up part about it is, for people that do not understand these prank channels have gone way too fucking far. These fucking adult vlogging channels need to stop with the abusive tactics and bullshit. Like, that kid can understand, drain your fucking savings account. Like, understand, 
all the money that you have in the world. That kid could drain that fucking savings account in a heartbeat faster than any quote-unquote gold digger ever could. Do you know how? And keep in mind, I am not suggesting for anybody to do this because understand if you do this to establish false claims, you try to gain leverage in court, the judge will see through it. All right? If that kid in the middle of the grocery store, even if you guys look like the fucking spitting image of each other, ends up going ahead and screaming, Stranger, I need an adult. I need an adult. Help, I'm being kidnapped. If they start yelling that in the middle of a fucking grocery store and they're related to you, or they're your kid, Consider any money that you could have worked for, saved for, all of that, all the inconveniences that come along with it, all of that, all right? Out the fucking window while you're being investigated, because anything you have ever worked for, gone, all right? So, understand, it is that easy for a kid to just destroy your fucking life, just really that easy, all right? And they don't have an understanding of consequences or the gravity of a situation. You know, the whole object permanence thing? Yeah. So, my point on this is that's a way a kid could end up going ahead and making the adult look like the fucking idiot for not seeing that coming. But also understand, too, if you keep trying to do intelligent calculated fucking crimes and then try to blame a child be like oh oh how, how was I not believed it's like listen for you fucking gambling junkies that don't want to lose your family because of the factor that you lost on a fucking bet but you need to not let it show to your family the fact that you lost a bet. Here's a good idea. Stop bringing that situation into fucking courtrooms. Do you know why? Nobody gives a fuck that you're elderly. All right? Nobody's buying the fucking story that you handed your cell phone over to your grandkid. And now, magically, you ended up thousands of fucking dollars in debt. Because of some gambling application. And, uh, you know, you had no idea what was going on. You were just away for a long time. You know, you figured, how much damage could it do handing my electronic device over to a child? What, what negative repercussions could it end up having? All right? Because understand, the judge will not fucking believe you. If you end up going and saying right in front of that district court or right in front of that magistrate, oh, well, um, you know, I personally don't see anything wrong with gambling, despite the factor, you know, if one bring it to religious context, the whole, you know, Jesus flipping the tables of the merchants, that whole thing. I personally don't see anything wrong with gambling, you know, and I mean, after all, I'm an adult, I'm able to make those decisions. It's like, well, so you want me to believe that you lost a shit ton of money? Or you want me to believe that you personally trying to be in denial with your gambling addiction or not wanting to call it an addiction, just you, you like to wager here and there. You want me to believe that you handed your electronic device over to a child and massively accrued thousands of dollars in debt to a digital bookie. So in other words, your child is indebted to that digital bookie. All right. So your child made those charges. You didn't make those charges. All right. So your child needs to learn about accountability. You are just, you're their parent. You've got to go ahead and lead the charge on that. So now my question is, <coughs> all right. So are you going to be paying what's owed 
Or is that child going to be paid what's owed? Or be paying what's owed? All right, well, so the child's going to have to work it off. All right, Standard Labor Act, you know, uh, you know, the whole indentured servitude thing that that you really might want to go ahead and look into because, uh, you know, there might be some legalities that you're not exactly seeing. And, uh, yeah, um, ultimately, if it's your debt, um, pay your fucking debts. And stop blaming some little kid who had nothing to do with the situation. The reason that they're as confused as they are is because they only had the information to go off of that you gave them. Trusting that you were telling them the truth while you were lying out your fucking ass. But, um, if that actually is the kid's debt. Alright, so, um, are you saying that you aren't responsible enough to pay attention to your child for... And a long, like, a amount of time. Like, you have to put the phone in front of them. Like, you, you can't not hand them the phone if they ask for it. Alright, so you can't say no. But you want us to believe that, you know, those debts weren't on you. You, you could have avoided ending up in that debt by saying no. All right, so what's your plan here? All right, so I'm hearing your story. Blame your kid for you gambling and ending up in debt. And, you know, now you want to blame it on them and destroy their fucking life. You know, which doesn't fix your problem whatsoever. But, um, yeah, no, this is, uh, this is one of those situations you really might want to get your situations figured out because, uh, if it's the kid, the kid's debt, and you're, uh, you know, you're gonna make him work it off and everything, yeah, no, understand, you're literally managing and facilitating child labor, which is a labor rights violation and a form of child abuse. So really consider the direction that you're going with this. Cause, um, if that's your starting off point, I do not want to see how far off this fucking ramps. This is, uh, this is one of those ones I could imagine you're going to end up getting yourself in a shit ton of trouble. All because of the factor that you wanted to keep trying to make deals to try to benefit in your own interest. While at the same time, attempting to enrich yourself fraudulently. While trying to claim that you shouldn't be charged with fraud. Because the ends justified the means. But you're the victim. You're not the perpetrator. But the ends justified the means. Because, you know, back late bills. So what do bills and gambling have in relation with each other? Because I would uh, imagine them being sworn enemies. You know? Uh... Ultimately, I can imagine the factor that, you know, that gambling addiction, quote unquote. Yeah, that's another fucking bill. But now the question is, is that the bill that's absorbing the entirety of 100% of your fucking financial revenue? So you're relying on gambling to get by... Alright, so the only thing that I heard was, I'm a sucker, please take all of my money. Yeah, smart. 